Real Fit Radio with B and J dot L O U. And if you're a returning listener, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The truth is, everyone is going to hurt you. You just got to find the ones worth suffering for. Bob Marley said that. Mm. Well, I guess that's a different outlook. You're going in kind of knowing it's not going to be all peaches and cream, bed of roses. There's going to be some highs and lows some issues it's like but i'm not tolerating that but that that's not a deal breaker for me that's that's my interpretation of what you just said we've had some bumping of the heads in eight years of friendship where i've said some hurtful things and vice versa i've never all right so with that (laughs) said we just gonna go into your segment with your crazy (laughs) behind Oh, man. Well, I'm just checking in with the temperature of the world right now. Stuff is opening back up. We're in Los Angeles, California. And I was reading today that tomorrow we're going into orange tier, which means that the restaurants can operate at, I think it's 25% capacity, but now they can do 50% indoor, outdoor. So more people. Also, bars that don't serve food now can open back up. They still have been shut down all this time. So we know the movie theaters, um, a lot of those are opening back up. So I still have not gotten used to wearing the mask in the movie theaters. We did it with the stores because during the quarantine initially, we were going into the stores with the mask on. It was all new, but I feel like they're saying it's opening back up. But it's like we have to go into these places that we're going for recreation, wearing a mask in the movie. So I'm kind of torn right now. Do I wait for stuff to go to DVD, which means I will be giving up the first day that these movies come out. I'm so not used to it. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. <sighs> I'm just going well, to I just want to know how they going to keep surveillance that you actually keep it on the whole duration of the movie and then on top of that when we go it's never operating at 25 percent anyways because usually it's you me and the person that's cleaning the aisles that's in the movie theater when we go yeah because we go so early but well, then again an- now because it's reopened yeah, yeah i forgot well no they were doing you at the gym yeah there were theaters <laughs> there i'm going to the gym at four in the morning and it's people in there but lou said it'll die down it's almost like new year's Oh, you know, yeah. something new. That's going to die. But to answer the question you had about who's going to say something, other people will. They've created the policing system. People are policing each other with the mask, vaccines. Have you been vaccinated? I've never seen anything like it. That's very personal still to just ask somebody. But people are like posting that they've been vaccinated and they're asking other people, have they been vaccinated? And if you haven't, what you waiting on? I think it's a form of bullying to me because I still think it's up to you. If you're not sick or it's against your religious beliefs, whatever it is, that's your personal preference. But they're pretty much putting out there, if everybody gets vaccinated, then we can come out of the mask. But if that were the case, why are people that are vaccinated that are so proudly saying it? still wearing the mask it's confusing to me i feel like whatever you choose to do that's your decision and you got to do what's best for you and i think at the top of that you always want to be safe as an individual but also be safe to those and courteous to those around you you know you just want to be smart about it but i just feel like going around policing people and asking them about what they've done personally that's not cool I wouldn't ask somebody. I just make the necessary adjustments. I, if I'm for me, I'm vaccinated. I'm not going some places. I'm still going to wear the mask, do what I need to do, get in, get out. If I feel like I'm going into a spot where I need to ask everybody if they've been vaccinated, I don't need to be there. You know what I mean? I just feel like at that point, I really don't know unless I was there with them. <laughs> so you can tell me anything. And if you look sick or you got a lot going on, this was before COVID, you know how I am. People were coughing in stores and doing other type of nasty shit. Not this wasn't for it. So everybody's like on it, hand it t- sanitizer. It took, a, it took a pandemic for everybody to be clean now. Yeah, I'm on the <laughs> I'm on the what's next though. I was reading about what was it called? Herd not herd mentality. Gosh, I'm to pull it up. But I'll tell you what the correct word for it is. But it was saying how if enough people are vaccinated or enough people become immune to something like a flu, well, COVID-19, that's what I was reading about, then herd immunity. 
So herd immunity is where it's a certain percentage of the population are immune or have been exposed to COVID, then it kind of cancels out because the majority of the people have already had it through being vaccinated. What I like to say asymptomatic because there's people walking around that have had it, beat it, and they're not showing any signs, just like it has been with other diseases where there are people that have been the carrier of HIV, but they don't have any symptoms or all these different things. We've had diseases that came through and were crazy. When HIV first kind of hit, they didn't even, have you been vaccinated? <laughs> I can't say have you been vaccinated, not that, but have you had your HIV test? They weren't pushing that. And that was crazy. People should have been walking around with papers. You've been tested. Did you cover your mouth? You've been tested when they didn't know. So just, man, you just got to be safe regardless. We were doing this before. People like, make sure you wash your hands. You should have been fucking washing your hands. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't, you know? have took, it shouldn't have took a pandemic for people to decide in their mind. Now, this is the important thing. Man, when I use the restroom, I definitely have to run hot water over my hand. I love how you see. Let me touch the basket that a thousand people have been touching and no. make sure I don't put my hands in my mouth. I'm just weird like that. So when we go into Target or somewhere, so when you go in or you grab the basket, you can grab the wipes and wipe your basket down and you throw that away. And so then you grab the basket and like you're rolling around, you're looking at clothes or you might pick up some tissue. Who's wiping that shit down? Whatever you're touching in there, whether you pick up the thing, the, the pack of meat, the pack of cheese, who's holding that shit down? Then before you got to the disinfected wipe, did you grab the door with a glove or did you use your shirt? Who, who disinfected the door handle? Then when you go and you pay, who's disinfecting the fucking see, money that you're touching? If y'all did didn't listen to last week's podcast where she says that she goes down the rabbit hole <laughs> this is another one of b's example of how deep her thought process goes with these things no i just want to know i think about this so we went to the donut shop and when you go in you got to grab the door handle to get in there and then you have the spacing in the lines which is cool and then it's like okay people are buying the donuts they put the donuts in the box and then you pay with the money and they have the disinfectant right there so you can squirt it and put the hand sanitizer on your hand so i know people are getting in their car and opening up that box grabbing a donut and they're biting it. who disinfected the box <sighs> It's inevitable. We're encountering germs all day. I'm not saying don't be clean, but some of this stuff, I just start laughing because you should have been doing this stuff before. You should have been washing your hands. Anybody coughing? You need to give me 50 feet anyway. Like, why are you so close? I never liked somebody being that close up on me before COVID. Even in self-defense, I took karate when I was younger. They still have us put our hand out arm's distance and then they had you turn around the circle and they said that is your personal space. So you pretty much did like a circumference. Once a person comes in past the stretch of your arm, now you're vulnerable. So as long as that space is still created, which means throwing a punch, a hit, you're good. But once they come in past the reach of your arm with it stretched fully out, that's a bad place to be. For me, it's just second nature and not even with the self-defense stuff because that's your department, Lou. Mm. But I just feel like everybody's on 10 with, have you been vaccinated? You know, your mask, all this. And I'm like, what happens when all this dies down? Where do we go from here? Do I still get to be like, you're nasty? Because I know you didn't wash your hands. You're over there coughing. But COVID's over. So it's like, man, we all vaccinated. It don't matter. You can cough. That could be a new strand too, by the way. That's the other rabbit hole I've been going down. Like, which strand were you vaccinated against? Because viruses mutate, don't they? I don't know. I just read a lot sometimes to where it's not good for me, but they give you information and it's information coming from multiple sources. And then I'm like kind of taking this in. So it's like, but that doesn't make sense because if that's a new strand in California, new strand over here, which strand are we getting vaccinated against? And Johnson and Johnson vaccine is not, you're not no good. not supposed to be asking all these questions. But you're... It's like in class, when you give me information, I process it and then I'm supposed to- But you're not supposed to question the information given to you. Then don't give it to me, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's my little two cents on the asking people. Or well, how about we just do what most people do that try to lead healthy lives? Not only making sure that you're, you know, washing your hands and all that other stuff all the time, your vitamins, making sure that you have vitamin now D. Now you're asking too much because they're going to fight. And all that. No. And build up your immune system. No. So, in the event that something comes along that your body is strong enough to have things in it to fight off, those are whatever. the asymptomatic people. The yeah. The ones that's not shoving ho holes and shit down. They well, some people are fighting.
fighting COVID straight off a of Jack in the Box of McDonald's. <laughs> Their body is fueled with that and to each his own. But yeah, you you need cool, you need some vegetables, some nutrients, and you have to have a healthy immune system being proactive. You don't build it when the fight starts. That's like the fight starts when you're trying to make weapons. Wait, hold on, time out. Let me, I didn't know this was going to happen today. I, I think I got a knife. Just wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you're preparing. So, yeah, I could go on about that, but I don't even know how we got on that because you said you was checking the temperature with the world. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, just something that was on my mind. And it's been getting really tricky. Normally, before we start podcasting, we talk about all kind of stuff, but because, again, you have to prepare, I'm learning. You could turn these mics on and just be all over the place, but I like to be intentional because it's always a takeaway. That's the goal. Inspire, impact, empower. I don't want to just talk about trending topics and I still need to be intentional. So some stuff come across my radar during the week and I'll put it in my pocket. And when I say put it in my pocket, I mean, put it on my cell phone. I'll put it in there as save it as a reminder, like, oh, I'm going to bring that up and we'll talk about that. But it has not been discussed prior to us turning on the mic. So I'm having to make those adjustments. Before I used to turn on the mic and it's like, are we talking about? Now I'm like, throughout the week, I know we're going to have to record. So, oh, that's interesting. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this topic. And now a quick moment from our sponsor, Journey of a Legend. You. Yeah, you. What's your passion? Purpose. Every day you try, you succeed. The time is now. Journey of a legend. It starts with you. If you want to learn more or purchase merchandise, go to www.journeyofalegend.com. So as we grow in marriage and was interested in marriage is work, we have a lot of things that we're constantly working on, but I don't want to call it basic levels of marriage, but if you're not creating and working together and trying to stay fit, it gets more in depth, the more you got to shoulder the weight. We took a nap today because we're both up at four. And then uh, I was telling Lou, I said, I'm tired. Around two o'clock, I was tired because when I come back in from the gym, I'm up. But things aren't open. So it's not like I can start getting out in the streets. And if I have to go to the store or pay a bill or go check on some other, nothing's open. You know, stuff starts opening at the earliest eight, then 10 and so on and so forth. So I start taking care of other things and I, I powered down at about two. He said, you should take a nap. So when he got in, he started creating he was working with music and then he came in and I'm like let's take a nap <laughs> so we took a nap but even in that when he got up I'm like hey we recording and he kind of looked yeah and I said did you want to push it to another night or and I was like no we can go ahead and record so with that type of stuff there's so much going on to where it could just be more I don't want to even say simplistic but he's doing his thing I'm doing mine it's just more stuff here so I was thinking about that and I was like dang this is an interesting type of marriage but just on the bare minimum even like when they say with children the bare minimum you clothe them feed them provide shelter education just the bare stuff when you start getting involved with having relationship and extracurricular activities, what are your likes? What do you desire to do? What are you passionate about? Now you digging. I've seen it on movies. When you have a single parent, sometimes it's like, look, I'm going to work. They always make the mom work at a diner too in the movies. You ever notice or, that? Or the hospital. Right. <laughs> right. I guess maybe because overnight the, sh the, shifts. the shifts. Yeah. So she'll have her like diner uniform on and it's like foods in the fridge, suppers in the microwave. Don't stay up late on that game. And they leave. But it's like a latchkey kid. Like they see their mom leaving out. She's doing the best she can. Food, shelter. And then you see in the movie like, dun dun, the kid's getting in trouble. And it's like, where are you? I'm trying to put food on the table. I don't, he doesn't have a father. That's a whole nother statement. <laughs> but yeah. But they're doing the best they can. But when you start getting in there, like I got to get them to full-time track, gymnastics, and you're playing piano. And then outside of that, we've got family meetings throughout the week to see where you're at emotionally and what's going on in your social life. And let's make sure we're doing something together. Once a week, we go and have dinner or we go and do room escapes or when's the last time we played some board games? That's extra shit. You know, and I feel like it's not required. So <laughs> And me thinking about all that stuff with marriage, I was like, dang, that's 
crazy. And randomly, I was like, I wonder does a side chick have to do all this stuff? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, they don't have I know. to do Wait, all that. Wait, but time out. I went. You guys heard how I went down the rabbit hole with the vaccine. So I start thinking about maintenance side pieces. And I wonder if I look that up, what does it say about a side piece and how does that work? So I just went down the rabbit hole and I looked up what a side piece means. Because I said, is that the right term? Is it side chick, side piece? Well, stuff is ever changing. Is that any of the word? So when I looked up side piece, it said slang, a mistress, a woman with whom a man carries on a physical affair, not emotional affair, without having the intention of forming a serious relationship. So I was like, okay, what's a side piece? And I was like, well, can you have a man side piece? So I was like, what's a man side piece? It said mantras. So a male side piece is a mantras. This is the definition of mantras. The male equivalent to a mistress, a married woman's side piece, a second dick you get when the first dick isn't satisfying you, a boy toy, the man you use, abuse, and throw away on top of the man you come home to every day. Then they put like a little conversation to give you an example of what a mantras is. And it was like, Jamie says, Hey, was that Josh I saw you with on Saturday? And then Tammy says, oh, girl, please. That was my mantras. I get a piece of him when Josh's dick just ain't cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I started thinking about that. I was like, dang. So a mantras doesn't have the duties of a husband and neither does a side piece have the duties of a wife. And then I started looking at the definitions and I'm like, damn, when they described a mantras, they was like side dick, abuse, boy toy. With the side piece of the woman, it was mistress, the other woman. Said, it, the, wow. it was the more degrading for the male. Oh, it was horrible. So I thought about that. And then I went a little bit further down the rabbit hole and it had a link and it said 15 rules to being a successful side piece. Oh, so it's rules to this shit. Yeah, yeah. And it was an article. The person that wrote it, it was a disclaimer. The disclaimer says, now I'm not saying I've ever been a side piece, but I definitely have friends who have. After a series of discussions with them, I've compiled a list of several non-negotiables that if I had ever been a side piece, I'm sure I would have lived by if I had been. So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to hit these 15. But before we get into those 15 rules to being a successful side piece, what are your thoughts on, because I just bust out laughing. So a husband versus being a mantras, <laughs> you know what you have to do as a husband. And we have a little bit more that's required within our marriage because of the other things that we do. But back in the gap, if you had the option, like, yo, I'm going to let you see in the future because the kind of man you are, this is marriage as a husband. And this is what it entails. Or you could be a mantras. <laughs> Well, first of all, that's the first time I've heard it described that way. And then I did. I, I, well, not boy only toy. that. Well, not <laughs> only that. Secondly, I was always under the pretense that women cheated or it was unfaithful because they were emotionally what's the word emotionally neglected and so they went out and tried to get that emotional content from somebody else i didn't know that it was just like she said oh, josh's dick isn't cutting it that's <laughs> what i'm saying i've never and even on top of that like i've never heard a guy just come flat out and maybe they just lie <laughs> Maybe they just lie to hide that they woman's shit ain't cutting it. But that ain't what they say when they cheated. When they get asked, well, why did you do it? Well, because she made me feel like a man again. She made me, it was never, oh, your shit wasn't hot like that. So I had to go over here. Well, here's the thing. I think that cheating can be like a one-time thing or it happens. Side piece is consistent. You are the side piece. That's why we're going to get into these rules. Like there's rules to this because the side piece is consistent. They exist. Like your side piece has a name and everything. I'm not saying if you cheat, it's with random people. But, but that's it, the same thing, ain't it? I don't think so. That's why I took it into husband, a mantress, and a side piece versus I cheated. I guess if you're repeatedly cheating with the same person, that could become your side piece. But if I'm just messing with you and multiple people, you're not a side piece. I'm just a cheater. Let's say I was going out clubbing with my friends and then I would meet different men and I might have conversations with them on the side. I'm texting them, maybe having lunch and maybe a few of them I sleep with. Or maybe I didn't sleep with some, but I slept with one of them. I'm a cheater. 
But I think if I choose up <laughs> or I pick one person, but I'm with them consistently, they hit me on the low. We know what it is when we get together. They know I have a husband. That's a side piece. Other than that, I'm just a cheater because I might cheat with different people. But the reason why I say that is because most times, and I can only speak from a male perspective, most times men get caught up in that situation or cheating because they end up doing it with the same person. She's a it, side. But they, th no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I get it. There are men out there that have several partners while they're married. What I'm saying is most times they get caught up doing it with the same person. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know what it was. Yeah, you're right. But it ain't normally the ones that go jumping around from one person to the next that gets caught. It's always that dude that stay with the same consistent person. That's what I'm saying. It so so. That's I, why I, I, so, is, so, is it the same? I mean, well, I, it's it the not same the same, thing. but I think what it is is different things are happening. You're a cheater, and not only you were a cheater, your ass had a side piece. So if it's like he cheated on me, oh man, well, what happened? Was it a one time thing? No, he had a whole side piece. As opposed to, like, I think if you went out and you cheated, and I found out, and it's like, I cheated, you know, what happened? I haven't been happy at home in a long time. And it's like, well, how long has this been going on? It only happened once. But I'm not sure it won't happen again. That's why we talking about this. Whatever. I'm just making but this that's up. Why I feel You're not like a it's that's the not same. a side piece. You cheated. But I still feel like it's the same thing to a degree. The reason why I'm saying that B is because the same rules apply with somebody I'm not trying to make my side. No, piece. no, they don't. If you cheat with somebody, y'all have a one night stand. That's why we're gonna get into these rules. We watched the movie, uh not to, what was it called? female fatale where he went to vegas with his friend michael ely took his ring off met hillary swank they had sex while he was there he went back home and there ended up being this murder and the detective that came was hillary swank who he had hooked up with in vegas and she was looking at him like i didn't know you had a whole wife and he's like but you're the one that says what happens in vegas stays in vegas he didn't disclose all that to her they were hooking up Oh, well, then that's why I said you don't meet somebody and it's like, before we do this, I have a wife and my wife could never know. I think you're creating or setting the stage for a possible side piece because you are cheating. But now you are setting the stage for more. This might not yeah, be a one time well. thing or something. That's how I'm looking at it. I think it's just a matter of perspective. I think that they're different and they both are whack, but they're different. Well, I, I'm not going to But how do we get caught on those specific that. ones? I just wanted to know how they called the man the mantras and the woman the side piece. I've heard that term. Uh, that term. I've heard that term before. I just didn't know that that's what that was. Yeah, I've heard somebody say that before, but I didn't think to ask what it was. Oh, wow. I, I honestly that. thought it was just a made up word. That's why I ain't think nothing up. Oh, I had no idea. When no, I no, said, I'm not saying that I knew what it was. I'm just saying through passing and conversation, I've heard somebody say that before. I've just never knew what it meant. Well, the only reason I found it is because when I looked up side piece, it referred mistress, mantras. I thought that was just like a way of saying, well, what do you call a man when he's the person? But they're here? so subtle with it. When I looked up side <laughs> piece, it kept referring to a woman. Uh, not yeah. a not the man so i said well, what's the male side piece but well you learn something it's so everything. subtle but they make you guys sound like straight trash it said to abuse <laughs> the boy toy i said wow a man if he signed up for these are the things that describe what he is versus she's a mistress the other woman he's married and that's bad, but I'm like, why would you say, yeah, I'm her mantras, I'm a side dick. I'm who she comes and deals with. I know it's nothing else. I know she don't but want really, nothing else from me. I know me. why they said that, because most dudes don't care. Yeah, that's crazy. Most dudes don't care. If you read that definition of some of the people that I listen to, like podcast-wise, or people that I used to kick it with, they wouldn't give a damn about what that definition said, because they like, yeah, they can say that. I know that ain't what I am for as a person. I don't care what that said. Oh. And this is what I'm getting. I'm getting something out of it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see it as I'm trash. He know what it is too. It's like, yeah, I know what this is. I'm cool with it because I got shit I got to do. And it keeps the emotions in check. That I get to get some ass and I get to go back home and I ain't got to worry about all the emotional content that you bring with it. I'm straight with that. Mm. That definition don't define me. I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay.
All right. Uh, to be honest, that would be me. With the side piece, and you usually see this with women. They get attached. Movies again. I don't want to be a side piece anymore. I don't, mm. I'm tired of being your mistress. That's I've never seen thing. a movie. Oh, they should make a movie. Mantris. And the, <laughs> and the man should wow out and be like, I'm tired of being the side the man dick. gets fed up. Yeah, I don't want to be the secret no more, your boy toy. And he stalks the husband. That'd be dope. Well, they've probably done like the fatal attraction ones where the guy, didn't Michael Ely? He, man, you need to get some other type of movies because he was the one with Sanaa Lathan. And I'm just thinking about that, where he kind of, he, he dated her and then he you. tripped. Yeah, but but that was different because she broke up with him. I'm talking about a dude that starts off as a mantras. That's how I want to say that. Mantras. Because side piece sounds so light. Side piece, but mantras. <laughs> yeah, when I first started dealing with her, I was her mantras. And then I started getting attached. And, you know, I know she at home with her man and stuff now, or her husband and everything, and I don't want to be the boy toy anymore. And then he starts stalking him, leaving notes on his car like I'm watching you. Now he's out the way we can be together. Yeah, but have they ever made a movie like that? They probably have. I'm going to look but for one. But didn't call it Mantris. <laughs> oh, man. But I need it to be blatant because I want... The man who lost. I want it to be blatant because I want him to say that term. I'm tired of being the mantras because the women say in the movies, I don't want to be the mistress anymore. I want to be like, I'm tired of being the mantras. Fucking <laughs> 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 Oh, man. So these 15 and she goes up under each one with a brief little description of how you work that rule out. So the 15 rules to being a successful side piece. And I'm going to go ahead and put... So what are we going to do? we going to agree or disagree with them? No, nah, we could talk about it. All to right. being a successful side piece. And I'm going to put, and mantras. Because, man, they didn't even give you guys no rules. It was like, just be there. Because there are no rules. Just be there with your dick in your hand. Yeah. Be there and don't worry about it. Yeah, there are no rules because you're just a mantras. Jergens and baby. The side piece has rules. Her, the title is better. All of it. <laughs> Y'all wilding out. Savage. So the first rule is you don't matter. <laughs> Let's be clear. You're a side piece, not the main dish. The deviled eggs at the Thanksgiving dinner. Your presence brings happiness, but you're not completely necessary for satisfaction on that day. The best way to save yourself from hurt feelings is to remember that in the grand scheme of things, you don't matter. I'm with that. I am. Because I don't want to matter to you outside of this relationship. Remember, let's just go back to the beginning. Remember I said, they're like, you got options. Well, you could be a mantras or a husband. I should have threw boyfriend in there, but that's so like in between. I hate the lukewarm. But this is what comes with being well, a mantras. Well, hey, you don't matter. The reason why I said that, because I was a young man. And I, I thought was you were going to say you out. were a young mantras. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, maybe I did play the role of a young mantras at some point and didn't even know it. The point is, what I'm saying is, in my younger days, I wouldn't have looked at it as I didn't matter, but I understand the content of I don't matter. So can I just, I would that's what single men was doing. It's like, I'm going, I'm having a good time, and I don't want to really get attached and have to deal with anything. So, yeah, after we do that, that's like linking up at the club with somebody you just met, and that's all it was. That's how I feel about it. The only difference is you're doing it multiple times with them. I wouldn't get attached in my 20s doing that because I was always about consistency anyways or my retention rate. So you guys, <laughs> it really after, matter to me. after eight years, I just found out that my husband was a young mantras. <laughs> I'm trying to take all this in. We might have Man. to end this podcast right now because oh he was out there God. with his young was, mantras ass. No. He was a young mantras. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. The next one says, you'll never be the main. I'm okay with that, too. But see, now I'm going to tell you something. That's where, where you said the woman. You can't tell a woman, hey, you'll never be the main. I think even when they start they out start like that. They start out like that. And they'll it be like, I just can't. Like I can't. We it's, know. it's always this silent competition going on. Oh, especially now. <laughs> see, when we when we didn't have all this Instagram shit where you can look and see him hugged up and booed oh up and shit, God. it just plays a mental fuck on your head when you like, I can't believe he talking about his two year anniversary <laughs> and he showering her with all these gifts and shit and I'm over here and he visiting me every other month. Cause he, cause she ain't doing what she's supposed to do in this area. D yeah, <laughs> competition rough. is yeah, that fierce. one is rough right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm okay with that on the mantra side. Hey, 
I ain't got them out. I'll be looking at you at your two year anniversary. But I, <laughs> my man. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight for myself? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Three says, be quiet. Of course. I like that. Even when you ain't talking about side piece and mantras. <laughs> it says silent. You don't know them. Unless you were friends before your side peaceness, it says that began. Avoid them like the plague when around others. Don't tell anyone who you're with when spending time with them. Don't brag about them to your little friends. Just hush. But since you'll want to brag anyways, give them a fake name if necessary. Now, I know that this was designed specifically for a side piece, which under the definition is mistress woman, because I couldn't see a man. And nowadays, it yeah, could be. Say, but don't. before, <laughs> men sit talking about, man, let me tell you, the other day. They so giving the up the name. It's like, why, 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 yeah. why? I just picture men getting together, talking about the game. Or they're not even talking. They're like engaged in some sports or some pastime that they enjoy doing together. They're not even discussing women. It's like we left that over there. So, yeah, that was number three. Number four, be thankful. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Be thankful. You won the lottery. You get the great sex and maybe some cuddling and you don't have to tolerate them outside of that. There were many fighting for this position and you won. Congratulations. Enjoy the ride for what it is. We ain't got to cuddle. No, I think that a mantress would love the be thankful. Where the high sound. Yeah, it's like, shoot. But that's like super bold to tell somebody that. You need to be thankful that you even have me here. You know that's how many insulting. women would love to cuddle with me tonight? And after I cuddle with you, I got to go in 15 minutes because I need to be home with her. But be thankful. <laughs> I'll bust you in your head to the white meat telling me to be thankful. What'd you say last week? How the hell did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on the flip side the mantras being there and the woman said you should be thankful that i'm giving you this you know how many men would love to have this it's like okay cool i think but a man would be, be like you absolutely right i'm gonna go ahead and hit this and be like you might get canceled next week she just became option number two he's probably out looking for a new side piece because she got beside herself she didn't follow the other rule to be quiet she was uh-uh. talking too much I'm getting the hang but, of these but, rules, though. But, but the being quiet, not just with people that you know, but being quiet with me, too, with that shit. Because you could have kept that to yourself. Now, see, this next rule right here, this how COVID happened. <laughs> <laughs> don't be faithful. For what? <laughs> of course, your partner thinks they're the only one, but they don't have to be, actually. Don't empty your roster for someone that isn't yours. That's just foolish. Get what you want from as many people as you want. See, mm. COVID, HIV, everything is running rapid. This. So you just passing your little. Don't be faithful. Your little. And I'm going back to my original question. Mantras, husband, side piece, wife. More pros are starting to fall into the wife part for me. And this is no bashing. I just randomly went down this rabbit hole and <laughs> like, wait a minute. That's extra work. I got to still yeah, keep part, other people yeah. on the roster. That, I'm just going to get real graphic right now and just go down this other rabbit hole. So I've always felt like the anatomy of a man was already set up. Not that they should be doing it, but they can be out there having, as Lewis used to say when he first got here, I don't know if that's used to saying, having they dick in the dirt. They just out there hitting everything. Some people, oh, they're sowing their oats. He's being a man when they're young and got the pink thing out and jackrabbit humping and everything. You can't tell. It's just more so assumption or left to assumption or they tell you. Yeah, or you find out later because yeah, c- some woman. Yeah, or women are talking out, you know, and they, but other than that, the physical anatomy, it's no mileage on it like that. Women. That's a whole nother ball game. Now, for those of you that have had children, naturally, you know that changes down there. And for those of you, and I think it was Jada Pinkett I heard was the first one that had it, but it was something I heard before where they go and get the, I've been having these brain freezes all day. So it's the, she called it the Yanni, but what it is, it was a surgery, but the name of the surgery is not the Yanni, but she referred to her Yanni like down there. She had surgery where she got the walls reconstructed. And she was like, it's like I'm 14 years old down there again. Like she's <laughs> all rejuvenated. The fact that she did that or that's even available to women, be it that they've had children or multiple partners, I just feel like we weren't built to be out there like that. So for me to have to, don't be faithful. I got him and I need to have some people on the bench just in case or I rotate players. That's a lot of work. 
And then if we go back up to the other thing, you know, them being quiet, they not telling me that they dealing with nobody else. So now I'm subjecting myself to other possible diseases and stuff. And, and it's like, bringing that home. yeah, it's like, don't kiss me because I don't know where your mouth been. And all. then I got to go back to my dude because I'm a side piece and hopefully don't give him some. That's, that's just too much on my roster already. Like now my roster on my plate. I'm already talking like a side piece on my roster. Yeah. But it's just too much on my plate. And then I got to go and deal with the main man at the house. No. Well, you ain't even got enough to give him nothing at some point. Because I'm not being faithful to the mantress, which is the main man, which is the side piece. But my husband at home, because he's not dishing it out like he need to be. That's how I ended up getting a mantress. But make no qualms about it. You ain't the only mantress. Nah. And then I still got like entrepreneurial endeavors and keeping myself <laughs> together as a woman and being at the gym at 4 a.m. And if you have some kids, they got lives too. And we only on rule number five. It's 10 more of these fuckers. <laughs> like what? Let's go ahead and thumb through them real quick. Don't be stressful. I don't even I have to read that. I would hope that you don't be stressful <laughs> as no damn side piece of mansion. Or, or if I'm the person that's going out there, I ain't trying to get no stressful person. You're not, but everything that we've seen, they say art imitates life. Remember, it I don't see you that much. Yeah. Or you said with social media, you wouldn't. The side piece, which the girl is the side piece. Yeah, it's too Women much to are think emotional. About. I yeah. tell B this all the time. She'd be like, you been, and you been over there with <laughs> I like Whoever. messing with him all the time. I mean, look, man, you ain't got to worry about that because it's way too much I have to think about. And it's a small world. Be the type of person that'll go to a restaurant that we've never been to. And somehow the hostess knew the girl that I was dealing with. And somehow the message got back to her anyways. And she wasn't even looking for it because she likes to talk and have conversation. You know how stressful that is knowing that that can happen. Not to mention that I ain't trying to do it anyways, but that's just too much to have to think about. Yeah. I got to cover too many bases and it's too much shit I can't control. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Number seven, if they live with their main, all activities must occur elsewhere. I'm not going to even like go in depth on some of these because I mean, yeah, what you going to be at the, when we saw on paternity court, <laughs> the girl was like, I've been to your house. I seen the pictures of your kids and the wife was like, you had her in our house. So I think some people, they would now need to read that. Bold. Yeah, they would need to read stupid. that rule or they're cheap. You lazy mother. And the other girl, remember, she said she walked up on a dude and they were in the car. He was cheating at work. Call him in the backseat of the car. I was like, damn, like y'all just getting it in wherever. This cheap mother. But that's just me. I probably would require too much. Like, dang, I can't get none in this car. You're not my man. You my mattress. You need to make sure there's a room. <laughs> you know what it is. She doing too much. I'm going to have to get me another side piece. What about when the side piece meets the mattress? What if the mattress has a wife and the side piece has a husband? And when the side piece and the mattress come together, some of the expectation of like you need to it's like wait a minute my wife expects that you're gonna get this car you're gonna get this back seat i gotta cancel her because she, she, she we need to get in these bushes my wife want me to lay down these rose petals and had a bed and all that i'm not spending that kind of money on you you know what it is dang it's deep i'm thinking about this so you mm -hmm. might want to get a mantras that doesn't have a wife so that maybe he'll kind of go over in that lane a little bit because if he got a wife he knows he's already tending to somebody else or or get you a single mantras uh, no or yeah he or, needs to be single or the mantras and the mistress or whatever you want side piece they need to step the game up and only deal with the ones that got money <laughs> that want to get lose. away but I think if somebody got a mantras that had a wife, it's almost like we equally have something to lose in there. Because sometimes when you get people that don't have anybody, they start wilding out. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can't they, I don't care. If they got somebody. But if, yeah. So Is this a reason why they out there, too, if they already married? Which goes back to my first. Too much to think yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. My first point I was going, he took the words out of my mouth. This is a lot. So we're on rule number eight. Don't get or don't get them pregnant. Condoms, condoms, condoms. You already know you aren't the only one. So please protect yourself. You don't want any proof that you were together or any extra baggage that you'll have to carry with you for the rest of your life. So each of you need to take the precautionary oh, steps so that no pregnancy or STD transmissions occur. Try not to bring another human being into the arrangement for optimal results. <laughs> I'm, 
Yeah, and you just said the other day in our conversation, we you guys know we talk all the time. You said one of the porn stars said, if you put a baby in me, I'm keeping it. Mm-hmm. Isn't she the one showing receipts for cheating with mm-hmm. dudes that had whole girlfriends and whole yep. relationships? She said, you put one in her, you might as well get ready. She keeping that thing. And there are men that will still go hit. She told them oh, everything. Yeah. She bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of idiots out here in the world, man. The next rule says, if pregnancy occurs, stay quiet. You don't need to boast or brag about it. Stay humble and humbly collect these checks for 18 years or let the main think it's theirs. Easy peasy, clean hands, no one knows. Or let the main think it's theirs. Wow. I had to read that again. Yeah, because that can only work for women. I remember the side piece. So, damn, this is getting deep. I'm passing the baby off as if it's my husband's. And the mantras really got me Look, knocked if up. That, if that baby come out <laughs> anything remotely different, that man better questions. Now, here's the other thing, because I'm the deep thinker. Your mantras needs to look as close as possible to your husband. Because, I mean, oh, it, was, yeah. it was a certain reason you got with him. Get you a younger version of the, your husband. So, mantras up. The mantras needs to be the younger version. Maybe the one that can spend more time at the gym because he doesn't have all the responsibilities that your husband has. But make sure those features are somewhat similar just in case you get knocked up because you weren't adhering to the rule number eight, don't get pregnant. And then you're ready to pass it off as his and you can continue to see your mantras. But what if your husband wasn't having sex with you like that and that baby came and the months didn't line up? Like, let's say That's y'all when you get two smart months. people like us because you over there thinking... You went three months without having sex Ooh. with me or some shit. I'm, it happens. Oh, okay. You seen on divorce court date and all that shit. <laughs> this shit happens. You go mess around and you doing all that. And then you call yourself getting romantic with your man and you tell him you pregnant and you try to line that up. And if he like me and he start calculating those months, it's like, yeah, wait a minute. I ain't the smartest man in the world, but I know it, it's supposed to take nine months. And even if they were premature, they may come out with eight, maybe seven. We on month five. How you having a healthy ass kid like that in five months? Back to our initial statement. It's a lot of work you're putting into this. You might want to get a side hobby. <laughs> you might want to get that new PlayStation 5 and some new video games. Man, y'all better learn how to masturbate. Yeah, something got to happen. The next one says, number 10, avoid all contact with the main and any current children. This is definitely for a woman at this point. Yeah, that fatal Like, Why would you shit. start trying to run into the main? 11, if or when you get demoted, be quiet. We know that doesn't work because everybody... Ego. No, everybody's telling now. I got the receipts. I was with him. Well, nowadays they coming out with books. (laughs) Memoirs. Number 12, deny, deny, deny. If things ever hit the fan, this never happened. No one knows about your relations. If anything, you were just friends. If the man gets paranoid and starts searching around, delete, delete, delete. I guess I'm Why just Why would the, you have to have anything to delete anyway? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, we shouldn't be talking like that. Oh, they must be talking about the dummies. Yeah. <laughs> everything, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they go together. Yeah, everything, dummy. Yeah. Number 13 says, avoid all social media beef. That's for this new age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang. You DMing people. You texting them. You do know it's things called screenshots. I just thought about before all this stuff happened, you know, in the movies, it's like, I saw the way you looked at her at the meat counter in the store. Do you know her, Bob? I don't know her. But then they leave the store. There's no cell phone, no screenshots. Or sh- so you got to wait until you see her, however y'all meet up at the mm-hmm. park. You ignored me at the meat market the other. You saw me and you walked right by me. It's like I know the dude was like, I had peace that rest of like I didn't know no text message, no calls, at no odd hours, nobody DMing my wife. I found her social media. It's on. I'm about to de- like none of that. Oh, the freedom. They had a little security back then. They had to work yeah. a little harder. It's it's harder now. <laughs> Don't come to the main as a woman or man. Stay in your lane. You knew they had a main. You knew you were doing something some deem as morally wrong. So please don't take it into your own hands to communicate what's been going on with the main. That was 14. 15, it says again, if all else fails, be quiet. This is a temporary arrangement that should be kept in silence for a success. 
that's the part I think people get mixed up and we've we've had conversations before. You can't control people's emotions. Nope. You I, that's the whole thing and I always say the element of surprise is surprise. I didn't expect this to happen. So I think that anytime you start getting involved with someone, you take the risk. It's like a gamble that feelings that weren't supposed to be there can arise. The desire to want more can happen. It's like I didn't expect to feel this way. That's I didn't the expect fire of retention. Yeah, to want this from you. I've gotten so comfortable with how you treat me in the small increments of time we spend together and I want more because my husband or wife doesn't do that. That's how I ended up over here. That's the part that's tricky. If the person stepped out on someone because of something they were not doing and they start dealing with you and they enjoy it, chances are what they're getting from you, they may begin to want more or they want it to be on a more permanent basis because the person that they are stepping out on is not doing it. And they're not improving. Right. So you might want to like give them pointers after you lay the mantras dick down. Like, hey, if, what is it that he's not doing? You need to have like a side therapy session. But that goes back to the rule where it said be quiet. And then you might make it stressful because you bring in marriage stuff into y'all time. It's too much for me. I would have to go with just being single and doing what I want to do and going back to my own spot and not caring about that person's feelings because I'm not committed to anyone or just being committed and putting it all out there like hey you need to hit this you need to do that or you know what I mean I just need to have that relationship an open line of communication where we're comfortable enough to work on areas that we feel need improvement or maybe I feel like my needs aren't getting met and either you don't know or you just don't give a damn and I'm going to say you don't know that's why I'm telling you and we need to figure out how we're going to work this out because I'm not happy so I'd rather work on we can put it in these terms the car that I have that's running and it just may have a leak may need some new tires an oil change you know tune up then go out and get a whole nother car or a whole fleet of cars that one leaks oil the tires is bad on that one the engine about to go on that one and yeah i'm just trying to maintain all this like it's too much words of my old man why junk your yacht to jump in a canoe with a hole in the middle well some people think they don't have a yacht no more they don't want to work on a yacht they thought it was a yacht when they married them they should patch the hole Uh, they need to do something you needed to do more research on your transportation before you bought it if you felt like you ain't want to work on it what if that transmission is going out (laughs) i'm just i'm just saying something else somebody listen to be like what (laughs) <laughs> what, wait a minute what is the transmission alluding to is that the what is that the mantras or the side piece what they lost me no you guys i just i'm being silly our son's transmission is on its way out <laughs> then you need to prepare for that should change it out get some fluid in it don't junk the car start saving up and get ready to make a big purchase sometimes you need to go on that vacation sometimes you need to go in there and like cat williams would say remind them who the star player is going to be a big investment but it's worth it oh yeah and that's like into the transmission going out gonna be twelve hundred dollars well what is that a 1995 honda what happens y'all end up getting a new car and guess what happens with the new car you start having to pay all the time oh this is good don't get a car note that's the new girl that's what i'm saying that's the new girl i want a birkin bag that's what i'm saying you end up having a what did she say i left it at dollar boots you have to pay. We saw a, a snippet of a girl from one of these girl groups where every song is about throwing ass and, and breaking men's pockets. And she was like, hey, daddy. She was being interviewed on a radio show and she was saying how she kind of talks sexy. And then at the end of it, it's like, where you at? I'm at the mall looking at some boots. Are you looking at some boots? You want them? Yeah. How much should I? $800. $800. I know you got it. You you got money. He's like, you gonna come see me later? You know I am. She went through all that. And I was like, it ain't enough. You know I am in the world for me to be shelling out $800. But that's that car note, huh? Mm-hmm. That's that car note. That's what we going to maintenance. Like. Now on the car note. So now what we're gonna do on real fit, we don't call them side pieces, we call them car notes. And we call wives and husbands classics. And we call you weren't gonna stop me? Yachts. (laughs) Stay with your yacht. Oh man. Yeah. So so after all that accumulate what would you have done? Been like, I'm just gonna stay single. I'm gonna just just, so you couldn't have done the mantras. Is it at this age now? Because you alluded to earlier, like, I might have been a mantras and didn't know it. 
Well, I would stay away from being a mantras now at this age, even if I was single. And it's like, well, shit, I'm single. That shit ain't affecting me. So you wouldn't date somebody that was married? No, nah, I couldn't do it because I've dealt with too many women where they start out saying, I know what this is. I can handle my emotions. I can keep that in check. And you keep going. And like you said, it's that switch flips. It doesn't stay like that. You give them that baby I can leg. Stay that they way. get that baby get leg. That they get that wood. Ooh. You get that deer meat and it's satisfying to you. They were trying to get extra meetings in the yeah, week and it was like, we were only supposed to meet this one time. Look. Why are you showing up at my job? I've been calling you while I was busy. We, 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 I can't stop thinking about you. Well, you better stop. Dang. I wouldn't be that cold and callous, but in my mind, I'm saying you better stop. So you know already. You that's how that went. No, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. You're not trying to great Gatsby me. Cause have you seen the ones where it's just somebody that's just mean? They're like, I don't care. I'm going to break up with that home anyway because she's she going to be miserable because nah, nah. I'm over here mad. It's like, why? You don't even want him. No. Nah. <laughs> why are you doing it? I, I ain't breaking up. Because you're going to feel what I feel. <laughs> but you just broke up their marriage. You don't really want I don't want them. So why would you do that? Because, okay, this just makes no sense. sense. I know it's women out there that do that shit just because they'll see a happy marriage and go fuck with the dude. And you ask her, why does she do it? She be like, I just wanted to test that theory that he really loved her the way he said he did. That's some miserable shit. Oh, yeah. That's some miserable they be out there, man. type shit right they there. Out there. They say I'm misery loves on company. Your ass, you come at me. You put that out there, somebody, let's put them to the test. Go for it. Mm-mm. Well, y'all know I don't have that kind of time. In the Go famous words of one I of my songs, think of. girl, you fine, but you ain't mine. <laughs> I'd rather oh, what, Lou? Oh my God. <laughs> what's, that, what's that line in that song I like? Girl, I know you fine, but you ain't mine. The time spent for you to amass appeal, I could use for the one who holds a receipt showing she could foot the bill. <laughs> well, how does it go? Girl, you fine, but you ain't mine. I'd rather what? <laughs> he gonna keep laughing. I can't even remember my song. I'm just talking about I'd rather stick with the one who showed they could foot the bill. The receipts that they could foot the bill. Yeah. He says I'm like a guy sometimes. I look like he fine, but he ain't mine. I don't even know what all that entails. Nah. But they say deal or no deal. I'm going to stay. You know they say with the pre- I'm, I'm going to stay, Bob. I'm going to stay. Deal or no deal. I'm going to stay. <laughs> and that's how that goes. Well, you guys heard it here first. Mantras. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe it was new to me. But um, I'm going to, when we turn these mics off, I'm going to see if there's been a movie about a mantras. And if there hasn't been one, I'm going to try to get in contact with the Wayans brothers and see if they are open to doing the first mantras movie. Because I think that they would be bold enough to do something like that. Keenan would get it. He's got the humor for it. <laughs> mantras. <laughs> well, Mm-mm. hopefully there's a takeaway here. Or maybe you're sitting there thinking if you are the side piece. <laughs> This is beneficial to me. I don't know what they talking about. Hey, and whatever works for you. Hey, you got to do what makes you happy and make smart decisions based on your situation. If you a mantras. Oh, I know we posed some questions that y'all weren't thinking about, like calculating the months. You know, there are words that are put into the dictionary through usage. Like when I was coming up, conversate was not a word, but they'll say urban dictionary. It means to talk, but converse is the word. But I've heard through usage, conversate is now a word. You guys might want to work on that mantras because I don't (laughs) like that definition. You guys sound like a piece of old meat that they just pull out and take a little piece off of it for nourishment and throw it back. It's just mistreated and everything. It's that abusing boy toy. So through usage, build that mantras definition up. That's not right. That, (laughs) That was just wrong on all levels. But all jokes aside, whatever you put your time and energy to, you should reap all the benefits. And I just felt like when they say outweigh the pros and cons, it was a lot of work going into that side piece and mantras and the benefits. Like I can't even call the mantras up if I get in a jam because it's not really my friend. It's a secret. You know, even if it's like something happens with my husband or anything, I've been intimate with this man. I would want to call him and say this has happened to Lou. It's no connection like that. It's literally an exchange that's happening and that don't work for me. But uh, that it is what it is. It may work for someone else, but kind of meditate on this. Take it all in and and take what you will from it. And if you don't like it, throw it back. And if you want to keep this conversation going, you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggested topics, you can shoot us an email at realfitradio at gmail.com. Our podcast drops 
Every Monday, you can catch a snippet of our latest one on our Instagram at Real Fit Radio. If you're not following us, you definitely should be. As always, we hope this inspired, impacted, or empowered someone. Until next time.